situation today. It's about how we're calling our brothers and sisters to help us stop abortion. Yeah, we did a silent protest the other week. Did over you? in Terrell, you know the nationwide one? No. North America? You don't know about that one? No, I'm not familiar yeah, with that Yeah, it's been going now for maybe 14, 15 years. Oh, wow. And it was just the other month. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah. and we're just here because we want to just um, have other brothers and sisters, especially leaders, mm -hmm. you know, come out and say, look, we need to do something as a, as a church, as a nation. We need to stop yeah. the murder of our, you know, unborn. Oh, we're right. fellow Christians, and we just really are calling people to their accountability, their fruit. What are we doing? Are we directing our, our sheep to, you know, go in the direction of, of this um, stopping this Holocaust, or are we just kind of keeping quiet about it? Um, it goes beyond crisis pregnancy centers and things oh, yeah. like that yeah. it goes much deeper and we're just asking people to please you know help this stop it's been over 40 years oh. and these are the guys that we need to talk to because they could make a huge change absolutely huge change there's so many churches out there so many people that go to church that believe it, you know that this is wrong but they don't do anything yeah. to stop so, it all talk. you know so our church goes to the local abortion clinic and that's great they do change women's yeah. minds that's wonderful and a yeah lot of, a lot of kids are being saved yeah and uh, that's just amazing. And a lot of churches don't do that right. so that's really you know one of very few that that do that yeah. which i love to hear that whenever that happens i know of some yeah you know but the more the more that we have the more change we can make right yeah so that was all so they're, not, they're not with us or anything oh, okay. they're also no. not with any church so talking to them would basically be talking to someone who's in disobedience to god even though they would say we're in disobedience well, to god okay. we're just against abortion goes to Okay, I'm not. I guess what she will say. Yet. We're just against abortion, and we're supposed to have that in common. What church right? are you a part of? I, well, I've been part of a lot of different churches. What church right, are you currently serving? Right now, Local I'm church. at a home church. Right now, but I've been to, part of Calvary Chapel. I've been part of lots of different churches. But the problem is, who's, who's your elder? I've had lots of elders over the well, years. Yeah. Uh, only in the context of currently. Yeah. Not currently, I have elders as well. We hold each other accountable all the time. I'm going to read this, okay? Thank you for nice just even talking to you. I appreciate that. You know? Sir, I think you, I think you're misunderstanding, you know, why we're here. Because we're, yeah. we're, we're fellow Christians, even if you don't believe yeah. that. Do you believe that abortion is murder? Oh, absolutely. That's why I preach against it. Then why are you, like, attacking us for being here? Because we have that, 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 that was a, a statement. That, no, and that was, it was an a incorrect that falsehood. Didn't actually answer. That was a falsehood, that, what you told him. That, you know, we're not affiliated with any church. We are. If We have if many we ask, churches that if, were. If we ask him the same thing, mm -hmm. would they. Mm -hmm. Usually you don't. And mm -hmm. So maybe I shouldn't have. Characterize you, you can't characterize everybody with, with this organization. You can't because we're all different. So I do apologize right? about that. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. But who's your elder? Right. Currently, I have a few that I could tell you. I don't know if I want to say it on on speaker, but I could. Yeah. You know, there's many that I have that hold me accountable all the time. Yeah. So who's your elder? Yeah. Who's who's your elder? Who's, can I ask you who's your elder? Yeah, you want to say yeah. him? Yeah, you go for know it. Who our I don't actually is. know who your elder is. Oh, I, I personally. Grace, Grace Community Church. Yeah, okay. Great. Who so then you have elders that yeah, yes. that hold you accountable. Mm -hmm. And I have elders that hold me accountable as well. Yeah, they are. I'm not gonna go ahead and play, you know, games with you and just it's say their game. name. It's it's actually you know? a question of do you honor Hebrews thirteen and mm -hmm. do you have people you obey? I do. Do you have leaders? Whenever I sin, guess what happens? Uh, I get correction. You repent. Absolutely, I do. And part of the reason I'm here is because I think a lot of the leaders here mm. are apathetic to this issue. So here's the so thing. So it goes beyond that because that's, that, that is something that you're probably stuck on, whatever. We can disagree all we want, but the reason why we're here is to save it's, human beings. It's the church affiliation that I actually but, have. But do you uh, agree that abortion is murder? With. Do you agree with that at least? Do you agree do you that agree? you should have an elder that you I do. Are under? I currently are you, do. Are you willing to actually demonstrate that you have an elder by giving a name of a person i can yeah so well i mean there's been lots of them I'm, I'd like right to know currently who, who you're being todd bullis there's lots of elders that i have in my organ in the different places that i go in my home church lots yeah. of them so todd besides bullis? yeah lots of them and an elder that's local he yeah yes and does he approve of what you're doing absolutely you'll probably see him here tomorrow 
Oh, okay. Yeah. And is he also part of a local church? Yes, he is. Yeah, and you can have your own individual conversations. So you're talking to me right now. Oh, of course. Okay. Absolutely. So where I come from, mm. abortion is murder. Of course. That's of course. What the Bible but says. but a lot of times I don't see the church's sheep doing anything about it. Not they're not acting like it's a holocaust in our time. So actually, you brought up a good point to not broad brush. Mm -hmm. Would you say you're broad brushing now? No, because no, because some of these people that do that will be here are doing a lot to help okay. stop abortion. But there's many, much many more that are not doing hardly anything and they're apathetic to what it. Is, what is the gauge on doing enough? You need to show fruit. If you disagree with abortion, How do you where show is your fruit? fruit? For other people murdering their children. You, you need to try and stop it. So okay. we're asking you as a Christian, so what, if you disagree with gauge? abortion, there's no gauge. It's what God shows you to do about something that's murder. So then we that's are honoring that. It is the gauge. How are you honoring that? What are you doing to stop abortion? Sharing the gospel because God can only change their hearts, which will change their disposition towards abortion. So you're going to change their hearts. I'm not. How? I'm not. The okay. Holy Spirit of God. So we're going to forget that this Holocaust happened just like back in the day when slavery was we're gonna turn a blind eye and we're gonna just kind of talk to the other people to make sure they recognize Chris, kim kim yeah kim, did you maybe by chance miss what i said a little earlier what did you say a little earlier chris to stop the abortion mm -hmm. or a way or means that we're uh, yeah. basically honoring what you're bringing up <laughs> is sharing the gospel right in hopes that and god would change their heart got it and they would change their disposition so towards what abortion. has happened in the last 40 years uh, it kind of sound like you dismiss what the gospel no, has the power of doing. No, I get doing. it. No, the gospel oh, okay. can do all kinds of miraculous things. Definitely. But for Same. 42 years, for 42 years, we've been murdering our children. We? Like America? This country has yeah. been murdering their children. I agree. So, don't you think it's time to put a stop to it? Whether we have to do it legally, we have to be out there as Christians and saying, this is murder. Don't you think that that is pleasing to God to stand up and say well, there are babies being murdered over there. Do, do, do people care? So, do people know? And, and remind me your name one mm -hmm. more time. Kim. Kim. Uh, sorry. So I mentioned earlier that yes. we're in full agreement that so we believe okay. murdering babies, which is aka right. abortion, right. is evil in the sight of God. Right. But I need and to know what you're doing for this issue because this is murder. We're not just. We're, uh, we're so not when I mentioned. So when I mentioned yes. sharing the gospel, right. that's not good enough is what you basically are saying. I'm saying sharing the gospel is most important, but... First importance. Yes. First importance. Yes. Corinthians yes. 13. But, but we need to do more to stop the Holocaust. Just like we needed to do stuff to stop slavery. Just like we needed to stop the um, Jewish Holocaust. We need to do more. We need more to, than share the gospel with those who are murdering their babies. We share the gospel all the time at the clinic to try and save babies that way. We minister to kids so they'll learn okay. before they're in that situation, what's happening. So we try and cover a whole gamut of things and we're always, our basis is God. So again, our basis. what's the gauge for playing your part in stopping abortion? If you're saying the gospel isn't good right. enough, or we need to do no, more. We what's need to do gauge? more. We what's, need to do more. Gauge? Since it's not the gospel, and you're saying there needs to be more than that, then what's the gauge? How do how I about, know? How about if you I'm go out? Enough? How Does about that, that question well, make sense? No, it makes sense to me. But where are you sharing the gospel? Are you sharing it at abortion clinics? Are you sh are you talking about abortion? Are you talking about it as yeah, a sin, and that we if someone has it, they need to repent? Yeah. You need to get out there and do stuff, yeah. but also it's something that God will drive you to. But you have to realize that a lot of times people are apathetic to this issue. A lot of times when I'm out of the churches and I'm saying, hey, would you like information about abortion? We need help fighting abortion. We're out there but asking our brothers and sisters to help and come maybe out. I, maybe I missed it and I'm trying to follow you, but I didn't actually hear you answer the question about what's the gauge. There's like your personal gauge is what you're gonna have to fall on is what fruit is that that your relationship with the lord how so guilty do you feel that our country has has killed over 55 million children but but there is no goal or gauge with the what goal is to stop abortion uh, well, so whatever means we need to do we, to stop abortion i definitely agree with you on that yeah with without a shadow of a doubt mm -hmm. in our church and hopefully any other christian church would as well but the gauge you haven't actually given me one but the thing is, 
well, it's personal. It's a personal thing, I would say, for you, so for then, anybody. But the problem is we see a lot of abortions coming out of the Christian churches. So you should go to those churches where the abortions coming out of. We do. We're out of churches all the time but trying to educate now. people. You're here oh, we're, we're Christians. We're, every we're Sunday we're out. We're evangelism. No, okay. we're out of churches all the time. And you know what that, we get? We get the where finger. Where the come out of? Oh, we, yeah, we see Christians all the time so why don't going you, to the um, why don't you stay Planned Parenthood and stuff. Versus the churches who actually Because we need your help. We need your help to end abortion. That's why we're coming here to the people that are here. So we then, need help. So you said you're stop abortion. Todd, right? Yeah, I have a few of them though, but yeah, that's one of them. So would mm -hmm. Todd also say it's better to stand with signs and protest rather than talk with the other elders? We've to, tried that. To collaborate? We have tried that in so many churches. We've tried that. Some of our people have been excommunicated from their own churches. Heritage Grace Community Church? I don't know about that? Heritage Grace. Oh, I don't okay. have, I, I bet you they do though. They've been, a, I just moved to Texas. There was a group that uh, not me personally spoke with, but right. that was spoken with, and they were not willing to disclose any church information. Okay. It's pretty much like they were disassociating themselves right. within but, the local church. But I'm glad you know. Yeah, but the bit, no, I, and there's certain churches that I think are great and doing great work. Absolutely. So is Absolutely. He a part of a church that's not You could talk home? to him personally yourself you know? and ask them yeah i oh, do okay. yeah 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 absolutely and there'll be more of us too tomorrow um and they'll have their own perspectives on things too this is my perspective we're talking to kim right now and this is where i come from you know and each one of us i'm sure so going to have our own perspectives have a, a gauge to know if the right or wrong can, thing is being done because well, i can say that you're not doing enough and i can hold a sign in front of your house you could and if you if you did that i would be appreciative because if i'm not doing enough to save a human being i would want you to call me out but are you doing enough? I'm doing as much as I possibly can. Being here, asking you and others like you is that enough to do enough? more. Is that enough to have someone not have the sign in front of your house? Or should someone actually, should AHA come to your house? Well, if I'm not doing what I should be doing to help protect babies, then absolutely no, I, I should be call, uh, called accountable. Like even right yeah. now, should they come to your house? Because Again, it be, depends on the right. gauge. Well, what, if what, you're well, doing, what I'm doing compared enough. to what you're doing for abortion. We're just talking abortion right now. Of course. I am as well. I mean, so how would I you would gauge say, that? What if I say... You know, because I'm here with the sign asking enough. you to do more. And you're not... What are you doing? What are you doing to end abortion? That's, Besides I, I speaking that. about the gospel. about Are you Preaching talking? Are you talking to women? You, and telling them you from the pulpit you asked me that question already. that abortion is murder and that it's sin are you i mean some no, of these people are leaders no, i don't know if you're a no. leader or not okay well that's what we I'm need we need more well that's good we need but, more but people asking, to talk about this issue because i'm actually trying to get a consensus or an understanding in that mm -hmm. if i were to even agree with you right what would be the point at which i can say this person is doing enough and i can move on because they're honoring what my intentions are like, at what point does that happen? well i think does that, that makes sense? no it makes sense but i think you're almost playing like word games too because i'm talking about a, one issue right now abortion and i'm asking you what you're doing about this one and issue that but you're not you're just saying i'm preaching the gospel general gospel I, are I you preaching well. are you preaching I that said, this is murder that we need to you, stop this holocaust. You asked me that already, and I okay. said yes. But you need to do it more you asked, because you, it's you also not... asked me, am I going to abortion clinics? Yeah. You're going to abortion clinics and you're preaching there? Yeah, I have. Good for you. It's not something you should I do continue. Frequently. That's what we need. We need more people out on the street to educate. Yes, I And to did. love people. Uh, love I didn't them. Preach, but uh, I was out there supporting them. So what I'm trying. So yes, basically, yes, I did. what I'm doing is I'm saying. As a lover of Christ, I know you guys love Christ. I'm asking you to do more for this issue to save human beings. So that's why I'm here. I guess the difficulty is you can always say I want you to do more, and that's the point but I was for, getting but at. But for 42 like years, born, we we it's, it hasn't been working, so we need to change something. We need to change so something up. You need up. to do more, Kim. So do you. Let's you, do more. So that means let's do more. That's why I'm out here. I'm doing some more. So uh, on AHA Sundays I do some more. I do some more. So AHA should come to your house as well. To tell me to do more. Mm -hmm. If they come to your house, that's fine. So should I'll they, do as much as I possibly can, and I try. 
So would you agree that they should come to your house since you could do more and should do more? Well, I try and do as much as I can. And it's, it's probably, I go to the high schools. I go to the churches. I go to the abortion clinics. You go to the high schools? Yeah, to educate. Sign? Yes, to educate our youth. Because that's, that's the time cool. that they're doing. That's so, the time they're getting in trouble. So in that, do you preach, or not you as a woman, Oh yes. do you share the gospel? Well, that's only natural it comes up with abortion. Because why is it wrong? Why is it wrong to murder? Because so God what's says the it. I'm not going to, you're not going to stand here and test me on the gospel. Because I don't think that's. Why not? Well, I don't, I'm not. I don't think that's very loving of you to come up here and just say Bible verse. To, what is it? To ask a Christian what the gospel is. You don't the, think that's the gospel is huge. Do you know what it says about abortion? That God knew us in the womb, and then we're not supposed to murder. All those things are in the gospel, plain and clear. So you say. So you that's a major gospel. issue. So I know the gospel, yes, but I'm not going to say I'm. I'm going to know is. every verse, like I'm sure you don't know every verse. So I'm I don't want to play this verse game with you. I'm. I so. didn't actually say verse. I didn't say give me a gospel okay. verse. I God knew us in the womb. We are His creation. We're His me. image bearers, right? Are you able to share the gospel right? with me? Or I'm not going to be tested by you. So Romans one. I'm not going to be tested by you. Romans one. You're not open. You're not open to receive, and I can see that very obviously. No, I'm, I'm actually. Yeah. No, because you came the, out with preconceived notions, and I sure you wouldn't. Did. And then I you wouldn't, about but it you wouldn't even you, take you were, this. I, you know, I, you've heard things about it. You know, I, and I it's. I don't need to take it. Because we are actually we're in agreement that I'm doing my part, and I would say what you're saying. I'm doing but as I best would, as I but can. But I would disagree that you're doing your part because it's been going on for 42 years. So then I gotta disagree that you're doing your part because okay. it's been going on for 40 years. You can have your opinion, even though I'm out here with a sign. And I that go can be and your preach opinion. the gospel and tell people about abortion and that other things are sin, and I There's share lots the gospel of sin. But this openly is, and willingly. Right. But this is even murder. with people who call themselves Christians, I share mm -hmm. the gospel with. And we're having a lot of Christians leaving church, murdering their babies. So they need the gospel, which you they, seem to be ashamed of no, actually sharing. No, they do. No, don't say such things. That's rude. So, so then, if I ask no. you what the gospel is, you are saying I'm trying to test you. Which, so if I am. If you're a Christian, then would you have you, the gospel in your heart. Of course I do. Lips. Of course I do. You should be That's happy why to share I'm here. It. Do you think this is a fun place to be here with my brothers and sisters like you that are already preconceived notions of me? So the gospel That's should not cheer easy. You up. Of course the gospel cheers me up, but I haven't heard any gospel from you. I've only heard I know. You know That's like I asked what you the about heck are you first. doing out here? So I, I don't so. think I walked up and asked you what you No, you're but doing that's 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 how you came out originally and you tried to get this guy to go away and not I talk sure to me I sure did. and that's not very loving or christian because if you agree with murder i don't see why you're so defensive of me handing him literature or talking to him i don't understand that i i don't okay. understand it would you read this literature no i wouldn't at all why because they're telling you the things who's me? telling you things so here, you cannot so you cannot read some truth okay. that's in here here's the you thing. cannot read that no, okay. I don't want to read it. All right, you don't have to read it. Just like you don't want to share the gospel with me. Probably because the you're issue. you're you're actually trying to cause conflict is what I feel By is going on. By asking the gospel. What part of the gospel? The gospel is how big is the gospel? The gospel. First Corinthians chapter fifteen. I told you I'm not going to play games with you about oh. verses and stuff. So. Not a game. That, yeah. that was just one of yeah. many verses you can use to articulate the gospel. Mm -hmm. That's a summary There's of the gospel. Lots Lots of the gospel that we could talk about. So what's the gospel? Like, say, say for example, Kim. You mean I, through if save, I, sa if I saving had, of Christ? I mean, what are you talking had, about? If I had three minutes to live, mm -hmm. and you knew I wasn't a Christian, and I said that Except I wanted Jesus to be... Jesus Christ is your Savior. Okay, and I said I wanted to be reconciled to God, and I didn't want to go to hell. You what repent I, of your sins, just like we want people to repent of their apathy. So what would I have to do? To be forgiven. You'd have to accept Jesus well, and ask for his, his forgiveness. That's what you would have to do. So what's the good news of the gospel? That you have salvation in Christ and belief in Christ and you can go to heaven from believing in Christ and repenting of your sins. That is that what you're looking for? That's the outcome of the gospel. Okay. But what is the good news of Jesus Christ? That he came, that he came to, to save us of our sins? Okay. He died for our sins. Is that what you're saying? I, mean, I feel like so, this is a test. So well, of course it is. Yeah. But, well, but it's. I mean. But any, I don't know where any you're going. Interaction would be a test. But right? I'm gonna stop you because right. the reason I'm here is for abortion. Okay. And you I'm trying be here to, to share the gospel. That's kind of what I was hoping this, I would hear. 
this goes hand abortion, in hand with gospel, doesn't it? Isn't this not in necessarily, the, the Bible? The, the abortion, is this not in the Bible? The abortion to murder? proclamation without the gospel is powerless. Mm -hmm. It's powerless. The yeah. gospel is the yeah. power of God yeah. to salvation. Yeah, but I really wish you would, even if people, you would read even if everyone and in America have your mind open even a babies, little tiny bit. Even that if would be everyone cool. in America stops aborting babies, without the gospel, they'll then they'll go to hell. Anymore. True. So very true. And that's why. So I'm asking, that's why when we what is the gospel when we talk about this abortion, when we talk about you say this, you go to high school. Yeah. And I'm not trying to interrupt you, Kim. I'm just trying to finish my thought. You say you go to high school, and definitely the youngsters need the gospel. They and do. that's why I was asking you about yeah, the gospel because if do. you're preaching a false gospel. Yeah then you should study to show yourself approved yes and, and i still am i still am yeah, it's a continual so, thing right so that's why so the, yes the absolutely the is there to sharpen one another if you are a sister in christ yes but i do not believe that you're open at all to what i'm saying and why i'm here so i'm not so, open even though i would have been talking to you like yes you haven't but you also been trying and to like test and, and and try and see if there's a Absolutely, little because i don't know you yeah. i have to test your spirit mm -hmm. do you not want me to do what first john says i should just walk up to you and accept every single no, thing but that you originally that you say or give to me no that but you should odd. at least read it and see no. we'll see then you already have preconceived ideas of who we are and of, what i'm doing yeah. here likewise so of course I do. so when i talk to you you're not <laughs> an like, open you're not like, open uh, so uh, it's really kind of a mute issue if you're not open to even open to the gospel open to murder this is in the word hey, really? that, this is in the word it says that's not the gospel but god hates murder right he does he so hates pride and arrogance as we're well we're killing he says it's an our abomination. unborn we're killing it says in our unborn. proverbs 8 13 pride and so arrogance. so i need fruit and from you guys evil, fruit i hate so god fruit. hates a, a lot of behavior so yeah but murder he hates <laughs> arrogance and pride we're talking about murder though we're talking arrogance about murder pride. right arrogance and pride right that's something that god hates we're as a murdering. matter of fact i would say that's the root arrogance and pride is why we murder would you agree with that arrogance and pride yeah and lots of other reasons too but yeah of course so you think that you should preach about arrogance and pride but what's happening or right have signs about arrogance and pride this is something that we need to share mm. and i come from a nurse i'm yeah, a no, nurse okay i'm a nurse so i like to share fetal development yeah. and that usually leads into the talk of you know christianity and loving christ and if someone's had an abortion repenting of your sins and the lord loves you anyways because yeah. you, if you've repented you've repented you know so just um, to, just to make sure that you're familiar with the gospel i heard you say parts of it so yeah. i won't try to dismiss what you did try to share but jesus christ being god in the flesh right came lived the perfect life died the death that we deserve yes God poured his wrath out absolutely on the, on the he cross, did yeah taking the wrath for all, all of sin, his people right not all sin all of his people and all their sin and all their sin yeah. all his people's sin absolutely yeah and he died but god raised him on the third day right and in that resurrection we're not condemned to hell we are raised because he was raised. right and he defeated and we're not death. condemned to hell unless so, we refute so him so i'm finishing he defeated death for all those who would turn from their sins and put their faith and trust in him right and so sin would be lying lusting murder coveting murder mm -hmm. hate in your heart mm -hmm. arrogance and pride pride pride's a big one absolutely yeah. and the bible says you must repent right and turn from your sins the absolutely. greek word is metanoia change one's mind turn from your sin and turn to christ right. put your faith and trust right. in him you can save from god's wrath what you said there is completely biblical i have no problem with that at all you know um but what i'm not here to you know point fingers and point, and you're literally pointing fingers. no i'm saying for whoever is in here needs to stop being apathetic about this and we need to do something about this so we still don't agree on that one part about you know just sharing the gospel is going to save the lives of these unborn um, I think it, we need to share the gospel and we need to talk about abortion. And that's, that's where I'm coming from. from. I don't disagree. And that's why I wanted to hopefully hear the gospel from you. Yeah. It's in pieces. Hi, Chloe. Nice picture for you. That's awesome. Thank you, honey. I appreciate it. <laughs> but yeah, you're also talking to me when I'm riled up because you're coming out 
kind of accusatory too. So it's, you know, a little bit di more difficult to talk to someone that's really closed mind and kind of coming out and trying to pull somebody away too. So, so you got is, you, you got to realize that too. So that's um, understood, but the, yeah. the group, uh, Kim, if you're being But you're talking to me. No, I agree, you're but you're part of a group. Yeah. And as a result of being part of that group, where there is a large number who do certain things. Like I, hold signs like this, I, I or always, what do you mean? And you will as well have a presupposition before you walk up to anyone. Mm -hmm. You always will. But and so that's why I had no problem uh, apologizing and saying no. Mm -hmm. I appreciate your I apology. I should not yeah. have had that kind of thought. Right. I should have asked you a question rather than saying what I said. But my point right. was really to let him move on so that he knows that you're not affiliated with us. Which in, he, in did okay, he did know. He did know. Yeah, good. and I don't pretend to be because I'm not yeah, a, I'm not a liar and I'm not going to say I'm part of the group. Here you go. No, read this. No, absolutely not. I would not do that. Um, I am. I just got off the job, Chloe. <laughs> Um, but another thing is that what I like to do when I'm at the high schools too, I teach you know, anatomy and physiology of the baby and different stages of the baby. And that's um, one of the things the Lord has called me to do. Um, and that's how some of my fruit, you know, um, trying to help women too. And I know some of the churches in here do have, you know, um, preg crisis pregnancy centers and stuff. Um, and that's a great band-aid, but it just doesn't stop so it. It doesn't it maybe, doesn't stop it. Maybe this is what I should ask you. Do you agree with all that AHA does? Every individual is different, so there's certain things that I, I might AHA. not agree with. Because I, I have seen things before that I don't completely agree From with. AHA? Um, different people that are affiliated with AHA. That's saying the same thing, right? Well, I don't know. Because Because if you're affiliated you're But we're part not of AHA. but we're not like we're individuals that come together for this issue here. And some people We're do just it. under the banner of AHA, right? Today I am. Well, I mean, I'm I have a shirt. I have the shirt on, on today. The, the but I also AHA, right? am involved in other, you know, other groups that actually call themselves groups. You know, um, that are, you know, pro-life and Christian and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, and so. I, just like you as a Christian, I might not agree with everything you do in life, right? Well, I'm an you individual. AHA okay. is an organization. But I'm a person in the organization, right? So. They don't actually don't call themselves an organization, so I should take that part back. Or an association. I yeah. So the association. Go to that library. By associating, do you agree with? Not everything. The tenants of the association. I agree with the tenants, yes. Okay. But I don't agree with how everybody does their fruit. Like, you know, somebody might do this and protest this or talk to this person and be rude to that person because everybody's different their hearts are different some are uh, so uh, you know more specific i get what you're saying mm -hmm. and i appreciate that when they pick to go to a particular church mm -hmm. do you agree with them going to that particular church it there's certain churches that i would like to go to for certain reasons yeah. like um i know we had a congress well, i mean when they do go to one are yeah. you in full agreeance to every church they do pick to go to i would say that at at this point in time the ones i'm aware of because i'm not aware of all the churches because it's huge it's huge um out here in texas i have been okay. yeah but i'm new to texas but yes oh, so okay. far i am in agreement with it <laughs> um and we've also those churches we've tried to reach inside first we've tried to talk to elders we've tried to talk to pastors we've tried to do those things um and so we've I'm been curious, turned down. Have you ever been to Gateway Church? That would be a better fellowship? question for Matt. Because Matt... Would you agree with going there? But I don't know the history about it. Like, what the reason would be behind it. Have we talked to them? Because those are the ones I like to go to more. The ones we've actually talked to and said, Hey, can you help us do something about it? Yeah. Um, the and I then ask. they say, No. No. We don't want anything to do with you. Whatever. And it's like, but... We love Christ like you do. You we see the with, murder. With Gateway and Hope I'm not. And I'm not. Elevate life. No. Or so he. House, he. I think Matt would be. So if you want okay. to talk to Matt, because um, and he might even have names of people that have talked to different elders and stuff. Um, so. That place is awesome. <laughs> dance. But okay. that's me. You're talking to Kim. That's where I'm coming from. Gotcha. Um. Yeah. I just. I'm just wanting people to do more for the babies but yeah like i said that that's a part of the problem because more could be infinite and that's why i was trying to get a gauge on what more was no i so agree with you there would be a 
a consensus and an understanding yeah. of no that's well, adequate that's well that's good you enough. go into the, the a subjective. clinic you said you went to a clinic right yeah 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 that a would be an awesome thing to do you know sharing the gospel on the sidewalk in front of a clinic that yeah. would be awesome so, and that's that's kind of goes back to my original question mm -hmm. is if people in that church are doing that then what's the gauge to say five right. of them doing it out of the 500 that are there is not good enough well how, how can you I say would that say, the five aren't effect, as effective as they need to be i would say for ministry do? work you got a lot of the big churches have huge ministries and a lot of people in different ministries but there's so very few that seem to be in the ministry of sharing the gospel to, to save life do you think that other resources should be allocated to other things other than abortion sometimes? I think yes I would agree with I can't say every church because I would have to know where they're spending their money but I would say yeah. it seems to me that a lot of money is allocated to other missions but where we have murder in this country do you is think, neglected do you think the Lord may actually be purposing and positioning a church to do other ministry that's not related specifically to abortion do you think that's possible well if look at it the way i think about abortion um well, is the same think that's possible well i'm gonna before. answer oh. you i'm gonna answer you the way i think about abortion is the same thing i think about slavery okay horrendous can't be stood for okay but um and it kind of has to be but it depends on what kind of slavery you're referring to. Because I'm a slave of Jesus, and I would definitely say... No, but you know what I'm talking about, I don't. Right? That, you don't know what I'm, I'm talking about? Because, no, a slave of Jesus is totally different. Yeah, that's but what I'm slavery, about. slavery, okay? Of what kind? Um, African-American slavery. Of what kind? What are you talking about? What kind? Because now you're playing word games again. I know you know what I'm talking no, about. I'm actually trying to be uh, discerning to make okay. sure that I, I don't misrepresent you okay if, if if someone just says slavery they could mean a host of things because that word unfortunately is becoming all all types of things to, to different people so when you bring up slavery what are you specifically talking about is treating african americans like second class citizens does that make it clear i suppose but yeah. they did that to different races so right they did the they color. did but that was or not different races, but different people groups. Like, right. There's just one right. race. But, but so what I'm trying to get at is that was not tolerable. <laughs> just like the Holocaust was not tolerable. Hmm. This is our Holocaust today. And I don't think we treat it as such. Yeah, I actually agree with you. But that, that I don't know if that... and No, I do know. That didn't answer my question. So what was your question? Do you agree or do you think that God could be purposing and positioning churches to do other to, things besides this, do other to, minister, missionary work? To focus on other mm -hmm. work or other ministries, not specifically abortion, but not specifically abortion. I would say that since this is in the word of God not to do, this is murder. Arrogant that, surprise as well. Right. Okay. Okay. What murder specifically? Murder is a big one. <laughs> We're taking somebody's life. And I would say that that should be a huge part of the, every church. So you're not answering my question, Steve. So I would have to say that every church should be doing something to end abortion. Okay. My, my question was related to do you feel as though God could have a purpose for the church to be directed at other ministries, not specifically abortion, do you think that's possible? I think that a church should do a lot of good for this world in all different areas, but this should be one of the focuses, I do believe, because this is murder. So you're going back to you. I'm asking you, do you think God could have a purpose and be positioning a church to have a focus other than a abortion ministry, just other things other things not specifically okay. abortion yes i would say coming from me how i would feel i don't think so you don't I, you don't think I, I think that that would sadden god if a church especially a big church has lots of income that's coming in and they're not doing anything about abortion i think that would sadden him i think so so the reformation wasn't about abortion even though babies were still being killed during that time Babies were okay. being killed during the time Jesus was around yes, as well. Yes, I know. And I know. Yeah. So would he have been wrong? Because he what do you didn't mean? specifically what do you bring up wrong? abortion. What do you mean God would be wrong on what? Uh, not God. Uh, Jesus didn't tell his disciples specifically to go preach against abortion. Right. 
So right. would he but, be in the room? But we're also living in a very or different environment. Be? We're yeah. also having we have an increase in. Sorry. It's okay. This is becoming a culture. This is becoming okay for the culture. So, what I was asking you, Kim, mm -hmm. was uh, I thought it was straightforward mm -hmm. and saying yes, absolutely, God could have them focus on something else, not specifically abortion, because there's so just like what you were saying. I right. agree with you. There's so many different sins yes. that are prevalent in yes. the culture Agreed. that deteriorate Agreed. the culture. Agreed. Abortion is one of them. So with right. that being said, you could actually be fighting against the ministry of God in that he could have a church focus on one thing and you're actually and, distracting and ignore them the making. abortion. I didn't say ignore and actually okay. I, was, I was being careful <laughs> when okay. I use my words to mm -hmm. say not specifically abortion. Right. It's not to say they're not doing it, but they're okay. not specifically focused on it. Yeah. And that's that's ultimately the concern that I have in yeah. general is uh, the broad brush that's right. given to say that this church should be doing whatever I mm -hmm. think they should be doing because they should be fighting against sin regardless of what God may actually have them focused on or even more seasoned at doing we're going to say that they should do what we say do because that's our conviction you kind of see so, where I'm going with I that? know I see where you're going okay. but I just I, I guess I cannot really agree with you wholeheartedly I I understand I, I understand you know that there are other important things but the death of a baby is a big deal, and the, and the spirit of the girl that goes through it is a big deal. People dying and going to hell for their sin is a yeah, big deal. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, and it's more prevalent with abortion. That happens more prevalently in but, abortion with the women. Women that think, have abortions, women that have abortions, if they don't repent of their sin, they don't, Likewise. if they don't repent of their sin, but pride and arrogance is the same thing. Idolatry. There's a lot of mm -hmm. Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses, Roman Catholics, and other faiths that are also going to hell. But I don't see I signs think, to yeah. stop them from right. jumping off the cliff and diving into but God's wrath. But I think wrath. you have to be really careful because um, this is a serious, serious blight on this country. Murdering our own children. And it's becoming so acceptable and so okay I'm sorry, I'm not trying to that's you. okay in today's society our our high school kids don't think twice about it okay so that's why we're educating our, our high school kids out there no no no, no. so uh, so as long as you're sharing the gospel yeah oh in, yeah in we are this 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 ends up on, going into that because it's like know, why is this wrong like it's I, like why is this wrong wanna, that's where it comes up it comes really up because jesus says it's wrong yeah well, let's talk what's interesting is mm -hmm. even with that being said it would to me be more awesome if you went to places where they were actually doing abortion we do uh, we do no, no, no. no we absolutely it, do meaning like the high school where yeah. people were going out or yes. learning to go that. do abortions rather than a church mm -hmm. who more than likely has people in there who are clearly preaching against abortion but you went where people maybe weren't going like a high school i've never but, ever thought to go but stand in front of a high school and share the week. gospel well, yeah we do it we do it every week but no, listen cool. but but so I, would say, I really think that with the amount of churches we have here just in texas and the amount of people that come out of the churches and actually are on the sidewalk preaching the gospel is like this big i agree with you i agree and that does sadden me and there's that a lot of people me. that aren't even involved in other ministries in the church no, that I agree just with come you. and go and say things are okay i'm doing yeah. okay there's a lot of i can speak that i hate abortion or whatever people. but am i what am i doing about it so no, i agree there's so a lot of people dishonoring the, the gospel finger outside of the 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 church all the time we get cussed at I mean, up and down, even though they're supposed to be brothers in Christ and they're just coming from a service and they're cussing us out. Um, there's just, there's trouble in the church. Yeah. There's trouble in the church and we got to wake some people up that, that are in the church. And I'm not saying everybody needs to be woken up. No, I'm not no, saying yeah, that at I all. I appreciate it. I'm glad I learned at that all. from you. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm grateful for you being willing to talk with me. I am grateful and, uh, for you softening up a little bit so I can feel comfortable talking to you. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Which I, I appreciate. Gotcha. You know? Well, um, I'm going to let you go, Kim. All right. I appreciate that. And yeah. thanks for coming out and chatting. I do appreciate that, Chris. Cool. God bless. All right. God bless you, too. Pick him. Talk to me, please. I have to take a drink of water first. Then I'll